murals, sculptures, music. This place looks like a gallery, but sounds like a recording studio. But in fact, this is the private home of Salah Mazmal Rish. A musician himself, he worked in the US and the UK for three decades before returning to Sudan. Since then, he's focused on turning this place into a haven for young artists and a living, breathing work of art itself. They say, why do you take an interest in these people, the artists, the creatives? Because creativity, innovation, the arts are the mirrors of society. Ahmed Reda is decorating one of the walls at Kosh Rish. The idea is there is a being, a human being, which is there but cannot face reality, and you'll notice the presence of the hand. But of course, it's not complete yet. So he has the hand over his eyes and he doesn't want to face reality and he's refusing to accept it in its form. So this is the way of expressing it and the idea for this mural. Sudan has an authoritarian government and is in the midst of an economic crisis. For years, therefore, art has most definitely been on the back burner. Now Risha's house is hoping to provide a safe space for art and music to flourish. We try to do something new with the old melodies. We tweak the melody and we change the music to try and reach people in a different way, whether they're the new generation or something, so they can take something away from it. Rish plans to ensure his house stays open as a canvas for artists to express themselves for many more years.